Hi guys, welcome to another Tableau session. In this video, let us learn about blended axis. So what is this blended axis? How we built it? Let us have a look at it. For that, first let us build the basic view. That means I'm using subcategory wise sales and just click on T to get the label, even sort the view. Then let us color the view also. Now, see, requirement is same. So, here we need to compare between. That means we need to represent both sale and profit values of this subcategory. So, in the previous scenario, what we have done for this individual axis, we, we brought this profit and dropped in next to the sales. But in case of blended axis, what we will do here is, if you observe, for sales, we are having this axis, right? As this is a continuous data, we are having this axis. Just bring profit, just hold your mouse button, just bring your profit and drop it on the existing axis. That means on the sales axis. You are able to see this uh, two bar lines, right? That representation is indicating that you are about to perform blended axis. Just leave your mouse, okay? Leave your mouse button. Now, see, this is what you have done here is the blending of the axis. See here, instead of getting two separate axis for, to, for the individual measures, when you are using individual measures, you got individual axis. Instead of that, for the measure representation, and if you are having one axis and you are rep representing the measures in this manner, then that is when that is when this blended axis will be useful. So here, see, even he, in this also, we are easily comparing between sale and profit values, right? Here, phones for phones, this is the sale value and this is the profit value. You are not getting profit. First, let us change the label. If you observe, you are having only one marks cut. Why we are getting one marks cut, we will discuss. Here I am decreasing the font to 8 point. Now, see, this is the profit value of phones and this is a sale value. Even for tables, if you observe, so 2 lakh odd is the sale and minus 17,000 is the profit value. Now, when you are doing this blended axis, see that axis name got changed to value. One, one change here, one change happened. And if you observe, if you come to this row shelf and column shelf, instead of this sum of sales, sum of profit, that measure representations, two new fields added to rows and column shelf. That is measure names and measure values. Where you have seen these two? When you are connecting to your data, whatever the database you are connecting, by default, you will get these measure names and measure values in Tableau. Okay, what these measure names and measure values are representing here is measure names, measure values are representing all the measures in your data source that is collected into one field of continuous data. That means let me open a new sheet. When you drag these measure values, what you will get here? See, here you are getting all the measure values see here so count of orders what are the, whatever the measures are there you are getting all those measures measures here like this and if you click on this this is representing all the measure values value in total now which measure is representing uh, what value which measure is holding what value if you want to know just bring this measure names to the column what measure names consist of is measure names consist of the names of the measure values. That means these are the measure values, right? For sum of sales, it is con the, this measure name is it is having. So measure names in in precise we can say in measure names is giving us the dimensional values of all the measures, and measure values is giving us the continuous values of all the measures. Again, here, I am opening a new sheet. 
without bringing this measure values i am trying to bring measure names to the column shelf or row shelf see no measure value why because this measure names will be shown only when you bring these measure values to the view let me bring this measure values see now whatever the measure values that you are showing in the visualization that means sum of sales quantity every measure value is added here in this list what is the name of that corresponding measure is given as header because of this measure names that means measure measure names are holding your measure values names measure values are holding all the measure values in your data source okay you are clear with this measure names and measure values right okay let us go back to the sheet 1 where you need to observe here see here when you are using this let me go back to sheet 2 once again when you are using this measure names and measure values here you are getting all these measure values right whatever the measures that you are having in your data set all the measures are listed out here but again i am going back to sheet 1 see here for this measure values you are getting only two measures that what you have taken so for that only to represent these two another change what happened here is this measure names is added on into the filter shelf now what is happening exactly here is let me click on this show filter don't worry this uh, what is this show filter and everything you will understand just show filter see as we spoke as we discussed measure names is representing the measure values names right so this that means this is a dimension so as only sales and profit is selected all other measures are unselected here we are able to see only sales and profits in the view okay you understood right i am hiding this why to hide this and each and every small concept you will understand in the future classes don't worry now here you have taken sum of sales and sum of profits even these lines are these bars also representing the values now what i am doing here is i want to show here along with sum of sales and sum of profits i want to show order quantity also now how can we add that order quantity to the view just bring order quantity and if you add next to the columns again it will start producing the individual axis this one will represent the blended axis so that means two axis two uh, measured values are representing in this one one visualization along with that for this order quantity one separate axis is produced why because we have chosen that sort of representation instead of that even again if you want to blend the blend these uh, blend the axis with this measure also then just bring this order quantity again try to drop at this existing axis now see this is again added to the measure value shelf or else let me press control z where only two measures are there in the view now what i am doing here is directly you can bring this order quantity and just drop it in this measure value shelf see here it is accepting when tableau is accepting means that uh, bar that indication you will get that small arrow is there right that indication you will get now it is allowing that to get that value into this measure values column now see in the representation profit sales and quantity here the axis name got changed to value even you can color this using measure names what happens when you color this using measure names see profit is occupying one color sale is taking another color even quantity is taking another color so even you can add measure names to the color also again i am i am discussing the same scenario again i am taking out this quantity okay now again i want to show quantity also into the visualization 
and the third way to show the quantity into the visualization is just go to the filter shell right click show filter here if you select this quantity see now it is added to the measure values shelf here even in the visualization you got this order quantity representation again if you select this count of orders see you are getting values just unselect the not required ones just show the required ones okay in this way also you can i am hiding this card so when you are hiding this card only that will go off from the visualization it will never go off from the filter shelf okay now see here we have taken three measures to represent blended axis like this okay guys thank you